Hi guys, it's simply Amanda. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by today. Y'all, I'm busy. We've got an impromptu trip up to Asheville, North Carolina. Um, and we're going up there to see some family that was put into the hospital, praising God with everything that's in me that my sister-in-law, uh, about a week ago, they just felt giving her up um, because she had septic after um, having a surgery. She went into septus, septic, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But anyway, um, here it is a week later y'all she's talking her numbers have come down i'm praising god and we're going to go up there and visit her because um they were having a hard time trying to find a hospital to put her in but um during this trip um, i'm trying to make it as cheap and frugal as possible and that means trying to cook everything ahead of time and um we'll show you what i'm cooking and what i'm doing to make it as cheap as possible we will be up there um friday saturday coming back on a sunday um the hotels are a whole lot more expensive on the weekends in tourist areas the mountains or where, mountains beach wherever you go they're just always more expensive but i was able to find one at a deeper a decent price um and i've stayed there before so i know it's a good place but um that's so important out when you have to find a room um you want to go look for one that has high ratings um i highly suggest booking.com great reviews um a lot of information that's where i do mine but anyway let me turn around and show you what i'm doing so I have got the sausage patties made up. Now, if you will look at these sausage patties right here, guys, these are these don't look like the sausage patties I usually do because I always cut up and do my own. But this time, on my last trip to the mountains at Jay Salvage on the way back home, I stopped there and I found this 18 pack of the Swaggerties for only three dollars. And this is not quite two pounds um, for three dollars. I thought that was a really good deal. It's already frozen, already made up. So I just went ahead, basically put it in the oven. Y'all link above here. It's my favorite way to cook sausage. Now, um, went ahead and cooked that up. Got over here. I've got some biscuits that I got. I have not been buying canned biscuits because they've gotten so expensive. I've been using basically um, English muffins, that type of thing, but. Lidl had these for $1.23 last week and I picked up several and I'm so glad that I did because it's going to come in really handy right now making up our breakfast. Our, our hotel does hotel does have a microwave and refrigerator. That's why I'm able to take our breakfast, lunch, and dinners to go ahead and do. I haven't figured out what I'm doing for dinner yet. I haven't figured that out. I think I might make a bunch of spaghetti and just um, I might take a crock pot and put it in there, or since it's got a microwave, I'll just put it in a bowl and reheat it there. I think that'll be really fast and simple and cheap, because I'd rather use what I have in the house right now than go out, because y'all know going out can get so expensive, um, so expensive. So anyway, that's what I'm doing with that. Some peanut butter cookies that I got dirt cheap. They were already in the refrigerated. They were the refrigerated kind. I paid like $1.29. They've gone up to like four bucks, y'all. I overcooked them. These are crispy. The ones on the bottom are a lot softer. I prefer I prefer the softer ones. But anyway, so that'll be for snack. What else we got going here? Oh, and in the oven. And in the oven, I have um, sausage balls. I call them sausage squares. Same thing as sausage balls. I just put them in a pan. It's a whole lot easier to cut and not mess with all the details with it. So I'm just trying my best to get everything ready. I've already got everything outside done. I'm going to take you and do a little... Um, preview of my garden what's going on forgive me the grass has grown we've got storms every afternoon lawn mowers down husband has been working it's not been able to get fixed so it's not gonna get my grass is probably about two inches high it's gonna have to get cut wait and get cut when we get back but i'm gonna take you out there and show you what my berries are doing and what's going on in the garden but right now um fold it i got some stuff done Hey guys, so this is what I'm dealing with in my living room right now. I know you're thinking hoarder, uh, <laughs> kind of looks like it, don't it? All right, y'all, Dollar General had their clearance sale this past weekend. It was a weekend ago, a week ago, and I they had toilet paper. I, ver I hardly ever, when they have these um, sales, buying toilet paper, but I went to two stores, just two stores within... Um, six miles of each other and I found all this toilet paper. Notice it said seven dollars right here. No, no, no. I didn't pay seven dollars. I paid three dollars a pack for it. Three dollars a pack for something that was normally seven. And just to let you know, I did all my shopping on Friday. I'm like, one store was so entirely loaded with this stuff in the other pack that I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and get like six packs now. There were over probably about 15 packs of this that nobody was buying. Anyway, I'm like, I'll go ahead and pick up six packs and I'll go back Sunday 
and if it's still there Sunday afternoon, I'll go ahead and buy, I'll go ahead and get the rest of it because obviously nobody is couponing and nobody's doing this. And this stuff's on clearance. So this is how you shop, y'all. So I did go back Sunday afternoon. The store was completely filled. Obviously, there's no couponers in my area or Dollar General clearance shoppers. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. But anyway, this is what I ended up getting. It's a massive load. Now I've got to figure out where on earth to put it. It's been in the car all week. Hubby bought it in last night because we have to pack the car for a trip tonight, tomorrow. And there was no place else to put it so um yeah i've got to i've got to work on getting this organized and i also picked up they had a bunch of other stuff a lot of laundry detergent um i got some tides some wipers some fabric softener in there um what else we got here i think this was a really good deal these right here were only two dollars right there so that's like the i guess the knockoff on the dawn uh, some other deals that I did get um, at the Dollar General Clearance Store. The reason I'm showing you this now, even though the store is already, the clearance sale is stopped already. These items, if you find these items the next time they have a Dollar General Clearance Sale, these items are considered on clearance, period. Basically discontinued. They're trying to get rid of them. And they could still be in your store and you just don't know it. It's just they won't go on half and they won't go to half price until the next store so it's something you could be looking for the next time because you just don't ever know what you're going to find at these these snuggles right here that i paid um these were like eight dollars i paid four for them this is the big one this was the true living or the dollar general um fabric softener um it was normally four dollars i paid two dollars for this this was kind of i like this one i wish i could have found more of this this was the dawn um 7.5 ounces the what is that the green apple i believe is what it is it was 55 cents i actually picked up four of these because dawn is my favorite um i picked up let's see there were no digital coupons for any of these i did get three of these right here notice the price on them oh my word y'all oh ouch ouch um 6 30 for this i picked up it was half price so it was 315 i picked up three that made them nine something had five dollars off nine eight seven six five four i paid about a buck fifty a piece maybe a little bit more not a bad deal for secret um this was this was um, normally five bucks i paid 250 for it i had a dollar fifty coupon so it ended up being a dollar fifty um, I got some of this for my husband. I've been using a lot of um, essential oils. And I found a blend, by the way. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. It really works on bugs without using this nasty stuff. Um, but I do like it occasionally. Sometimes I do like it. I ain't gonna, I'm going to lie. Um, but Hubby really enjoys this. He don't like my essential oils. <laughs> anyway, this was for something. I paid two something for it. And I got um, some toothpaste. Oh, I don't know what this was. A lot of these did not have the clearance. This is how you know it's on clearance. But sometimes you see that sign. Most of the time they don't put it. Like they didn't have it on the toilet paper. They didn't have that clearance um, marker on there. And I got this. This was totally free. So yeah, these were some um, other items that I did find on it. So let's get out to the garden, y'all. I know I am running through this video today. But I kind of got a lot to show you. Hey, doing? How's she doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at the catty cat. You ain't getting in trouble today. You're not going to swipe me, are you? This cat swipes me every time I walk by her most of the time. But she's being cute this morning. Well, actually, it's this afternoon. So let me get out here and show you. I actually think it's a good time to show you the garden right now because the sun's, there's a cloud out there and it's, it's 1230, which means, you know, it's like overhead. But I kind of wanted to show you what's going on in here. Okay, so here are the onions. Guys, they are doing beautifully. Look at them. They are so beautiful. Let me give you a side view. So many beautiful onions. They are doing good. This right here is, I think, the Texas Legend. It's doing good. A few of the Texas Legends over here. These right here, the stuff we normally do, the candy, they're not doing as good. They're not heading. I mean, if you look over here, you see big bulbs on this. You look over here, the other ones, they're not doing it. We already put rings on them. Don't know what's going on. Okay, we got that going right there. And then the potatoes. The potatoes are from here all the way down. They're blooming. These right here are the ones we bought at Tractor Supply. These right here are our seeds from last year. And you can tell they're doing really well. We've got cutworms, y'all. This has been a hard year, a hard year so far. Now I'm going to show you my cabbage, and I'm going to cry, y'all. I'm going to cry. You look at it, you'll understand why. You'll look at it, you understand why. Here's cabbage, guys. Looks good, don't it? Oh, they look good. You think they look good until you come up on them. Look at that. Something has been eating it and it's upset me to all pieces. There's probably maybe only one or two in here that are going to be any good worth eating. We did not put any, we didn't spray them this year. We did nothing to them. Um, 
we didn't want to. We wanted to try to do totally organic. That's a joke. Look at this, y'all. Totally organic. Nothing on here. No spray. Nothing. Even the organic spray. We, I think he did try a little bit of that. Didn't do any good. They're not good. Next year, I swear, I'm going to use something. I don't care what it takes. Because, y'all, if this is something I had to eat, we'd been starving. That's all I got to say about that. So, but yeah, but we do have one. Oh, I want to show you this right fast. You see this wasp right here? There's this wasp right here. There have been wasps on here. They're, what it is, they're worms that are doing it, cabbage worms. Um, this, the wasps have been coming in here picking up these worms and packing them off. They are the best. These wasps have been the best deterrents um, for bugs that you can imagine. It's crazy watching a, what do you call it? A, uh, 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 hold on, got, hold on, hold on. Watching a wasp do this. But if you look, I got one that might be okay. That one looks okay. That one, basically it's that side. Oh, their sun just came out. Um, this one is looking absolutely beautiful, although you can tell where the holes are. Yeah, so this has been kind of hard, very disappointing, but it is what it is. When you grow a garden and you don't use pesticides, that's what happens. But um, yeah, I've also been working on my garden, doing different things. Um, I need to get in here cut. I'm having a hard time keeping ahead of the weeds. But so um, let me show you. Oh, yes, here is the beautiful rosemary that I told you I didn't pay very much for. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's going to have to go in a bigger pot this year. These were comebacks. I didn't plant them. They just came back from last year. Um, got this one little, ooh, one little tiny one. I'm going to do some more. These are new this year. I'm, my garden is all about attracting butterflies, bees, and any other kind of pollinator. Because that's what I've been trying to go for is to um, attract more pollinators. But if you look right here, um, the blueberries, there are actually some that are starting to turn blue. I can tell, you can even see down here because the bird's been getting in them. So probably next week, I'm gonna be start picking blueberries. And then of course, we've got a ton of blackberries. And guys, this was my find. This one I went um, the other day, I'll link above the video Well, I had to go find this water fountain. Y'all, I'm so in love with this thing. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I highly recommend it. If you come out here and it's a full sunny day, of course, if it's a full sunny day, I'm sitting over there, we're out of the sun. Um, listening to that is absolutely beautiful. It's been going for a week now. We're gonna see how long it goes before I go and purchase a, another one. This year I decided to get a little creative in the garden. Decided to do this right here. It's my little fire pit full of flowers, yeah. It was cool because the only thing I had to provide, hubby made this for me. It's totally free. I had everything already. I just had to buy the flowers. I could have seeded them, but I didn't. Those were actually a good price um, at Walmart. To add, these are my nasturtia, which by the way, they are edible. They are doing beautifully. They should start getting flowers on them pretty soon. Um, if you look down here, I have a ton of morning glories. I can't wait for them to start climbing. Um, so it'll be beautiful. I know the bees around here love them. And again, guys, they're absolutely, these bushes are teetotally loaded. And the rain has, like, really helped them. Really, really helped them. And one other thing, y'all. Look at this. I am, like, so ecstatic. My butterfly bushes, they have established this year. And as you can tell, I've got butterflies on them. Oh, my gosh. Butterflies, bumblebees, um, honeybees. I want to find some more of these. I want to find some more of these. I put them in front of my greenhouse. I want more of them. That last year they kind of took off a little bit this year. Oh, y'all. They are attracting so many pollinators. It is, look at that, y'all. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. Yes, hey, darling. Butterflies, everything. One, two, three, four. A four on that one. A bunch of bees on this one. And did want to show you this right here. Woo. Yeah. Here's my greenhouse. And there's the passion flower and there's the honeybee and a bumblebee. Hello, darling. I've been wondering where you were. But yeah, that right there is passion flower. <laughs> Y'all, it's not been watered. It's not been watered. It's in my greenhouse. Nobody's watering it. Does that tell you how hot they like it? If you look over there, it's 95 degrees. Yeah, 95, y'all. But if anybody wants any, let me know. I'd be glad to get you some. Cause all you have to do is you have to get the seed pods off, dry the seeds out and you've got your own. Do warn you though, it's quite evasive. Guys, I'm back in the house. It's about 12.30 now. I'm sit fixing to sit down and eat me a salad because I've become like totally addicted to salad lately. It was cabbage, now it's salad. I find it much better. Um, oops, if I go ahead and make them up ahead of time. I'm going to cut this video 
off because it's gotten a lot longer than my um, storage is actually going to handle. So anyway, um, hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, I would appreciate prayers for my sister-in-law. She's got a long road to travel, but the fact that she's come out of it this far is an absolutely nothing short of a miracle, and I'm just praising God for him. So anyway, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for stopping by. God bless.